Welcome to the March 31st uh, Common Working Group. I almost said Community Working Group. That is not the name of this. It is Common. Uh, hi, everybody. We have a very light agenda today. So yeah, I can share uh, if we need to. I don't mind. I'll do that. And Vinod, you were just saying these action items are yours. Is that right? Yeah. Yep, so the first one is good to go. Just take a look and share your opinion. And for second one, I have to work, I have not worked. Do we need to do anything in here or is it pretty much ready to go? Uh, I think we need to table. We need to table this till after the release. Yes. So, oh, this so is there, yeah, there actually isn't anything we can, if it yeah. is ready, there's nothing we can do to move it forward for, yep. I think we have to wait till the end of April. Yep. In terms of like, it's ready to go, just we have to decide, okay, it's good. And then we ta will table it. And once the release cycle is done, we, we can move ahead and do the, the continuous release. Perfect. This is for the first one time waiting for submit direction, not the review action. Yeah. For review action, I have to work. I have not worked. So, okay. Yeah. So I, I do have some concerns about both of these, but I think I need to think about them a little more in depth. So, the, the, and, and we've talked a little bit about those concerns prior. Yeah. So, the, uh, one of the concerns is a uh, submitter. I'm not sure submitter is a is a thing uh, in in chaos anyway, right? It's not a it's not a term we've used in the past. Uh, so if it is if it is a term we're going to adopt, uh, do we need to define it? Is there a term that other working groups are using that's better than submitter or it's consistency, right? Contributor is a term used everywhere, even in the open source context, rather than a submitter. Yeah, so maybe contributor is the better word than submitter. Uh, but, and then we've we've already talked about the. I think we already we also talked about the. Uh, some of the inconsistency across working groups and how we are dealing with time. Right. Some some working groups like to use the word duration. Yep, we uh, I think uh, sorry to interrupt Kevin, but we brought it in the last meeting, and after a long discussion, it was again agreed that we'll go with the time meeting. I don't I don't know if that was a yeah. uh, I don't know if and we you, agreed to that or if there was just lazy consensus on not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I do, so I do still have a little bit of concern, uh, but I'm willing to table those concerns as we, because uh, yeah. we are, we are going and looking at the metrics as a whole, uh, yeah. Matt and Elizabeth, and I think Sean is going to take part of that as well. And I think part of that process can look at the, uh, how the metrics kind of fit together across the working groups and consistent use of language and things of that nature. So I'm, I'm willing to table my concerns for a while, but, uh, but I would like to reiterate that I do have a few concerns about uh, these two metrics uh, for those reasons, so. I think that was on my, um, my action item is to create a style guide with that guidance of like, how do we define stuff and how do we use our language? But I haven't even started that at all. So um, that's going to be like another thing we do after this release, I think. I think one of the one of the nice outcomes of the knowledge base is that we can possibly create a a glossary uh, online, and maybe that glossary can be populated just by uh, like automatically populated through some sort of uh, scraping of our existing documents. Mm, interesting. Uh, kind of the. Because one of the because one of the one of the things we're doing in the new template we we now have a we have that that header for uh, synonyms. Mm -hmm. right? 
So it'd be interesting if we could scrape the document, grab the metric title, and grab the, the cinema, synonyms, and maybe also grab the description uh, so that uh, metrics that had been defined could automatically be added to the glossary with synonyms added. Uh, uh, so with the synonym, we have two synonyms for the same metric, which is author and contributor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for this one, I, I do think contributor might be better. I think reviewer is good for the second one. Yep. Uh, but contributor does feel like a, uh, a better word. You want to put that comment in here? Although the, the, pro the, the problem there, though, is also that the contributor is very, it's a broad general contribution whenever we talk about that. Whereas this metric is very specifically about change requests. Yeah. Uh, and that doesn't actually, that doesn't come through with the title as it is now. And it would definitely not come through if we change it to time waiting for contributor action. Yeah. Because right? that's it, a good point. Uh, yeah. How about saying change request contributor? Yeah, and then the, then the title becomes very long, right? So they're they're yes. trade they're trade offs <laughs> for for all of these things. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I guess we can kind of just let it stew for a little while, and yeah, I'm, I'm okay letting it stew. And and honestly, I I'm okay at this point. I, I would even be okay pushing this into a release with the idea that some of the work that we're doing uh, to, to look at the, the metrics as a whole could resolve some of these issues. In the, in, when, we start, when we start mapping, mapping the relationships between these metrics uh, and, and looking for language consistency, then, then, then perhaps some of these answers resolve themselves, right? So, for example, if we were to if we were to go and take a look at every metric right now that has to do with change requests and kind of put them in a bucket across the working groups, yeah, uh, we would we would notice that some of the language is off. But once we have them in the bucket, we can we can figure out we can figure out where the language is off and fix it. And maybe that maybe that means changing some of the the names of the metrics. Maybe it means. Uh, editing the metrics, but uh, I, I think that would be a when we uh, that's another benefit of the knowledge base is that we have we we'd start to have the ability to create these different types of buckets to organize these metrics into, and when we start doing that, we're gonna we'll start to see inconsistencies and and the ways that these metrics fit together and the ways that they they don't fit together. Uh, yeah, agreed. So. But yeah, so I'm, I'm okay tabling it. Um, I think the only other thing we can do then is to just make sure that there aren't any comments on our one release. Um, looks like we have not addressed, did we address this? Oh, right, 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 okay. This one will get fixed. Yeah. yeah. The link address is wrong here. Hmm. Uh, check the uh, check the metrics document itself. Uh, I wonder if they used a are they using a static or a dynamic? Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, no, that appears right. Okay. Seems like it will work. Oops. Yep. Um. Yeah. I mean. Hmm, okay. Weird. It is weird. Let's see what else the comments. Uh, is the did they? Let me just respond. Did they copy the whole that whole line? What I'm happens sure. when you copy that whole line? You mean this? Just copy like it? the whole thing. Oh. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what he did. 
it, maybe that's the issue. The, the way it's presented, the way it's presented on the metric is a little bit weird. Maybe we uh, like put some kind of delineation here. Yeah. Uh, some name and then point it as a link. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe move the have it your way to the beginning and have the link at the end. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, maybe he wasn't maybe he wasn't clicking on the link, maybe he was trying to copy and paste and he was grabbing yeah. a bit of that uh how about oh. entirely hiding the link and having the text to click. Uh, with the with the references, I think the the oh. preferred method for the references is yeah, actually to have the full URL. Yeah. Yep, uh, it should be at the end. Yeah, and within the within the documents, we we could hide the we can hide yeah. the links, uh, but at okay. the end, the that and I think this is this is from a reference, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's from the reference. Yeah, so I think the the full URL is correct here. Yeah, or, or preferred. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can, yeah, make this part like italicized or something. I don't know, something. Yeah. I just, yeah. I wonder if he tried to just copy, copy. and paste yeah. it rather than clicking through the link. Yeah. Maybe. So. Um, let's see. What was the other comment? B hack says sometimes long contributors. Interesting to track the occasional contributor status as an evolving metric. Over time. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Should we make that comment in the metric itself? <clears throat> I think that is in the in the metric, isn't it? That's the. Uh, so they make they make contributions on an irregular basis. Uh, Someone who hasn't submitted a pull request in at least three months. Monitoring occasional contributors. Maximum length of time between contributions. What's this comment again? Their comment? Uh, track occasional contributor status as an evolving metric over time. So I guess just to kind of track by person is what they're saying. Minimum person. I mean, I feel like this repeat occasional contributors, that's what they're saying, right? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's that idea, that idea is kind of built into the metric. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the what they're saying is kind of a very explicit, an explicit mm -hmm. version of the but it's built into the metric. So I think maybe that's, it's good that they thought of this because the, it is built into the metric, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. And then Armstrong was like, yeah, looks good. So I don't think we need to necessarily add any words to the metric to the track time. occasional. I mean, once you add the time, I mean, we, the time element is built into this metric. Yeah. So basically what they're saying is it would be interesting to look at this metric over time. Yeah. And which yeah. is, and the time element is built into this metric. So, so yes, I would agree. It would yeah. be interesting to look at this metric over time. I mean, I feel like that's what you would uh, intuitively do, you right. know? Right. Over time as this. Yeah. But okay. they're also talking about, so are they talking about patterns? I think long term contribute. So, so yeah, are they, are they talking about the, the pattern of behavior of moving from a moving from a occasional contributor to a uh, core contributor to an occasional contributor to a core mm -hmm. contributor? So, mm -hmm. so moving between those, maybe that's maybe that's something that's not explicitly stated in the metric. The idea of the idea of tracking an occasional contributor as they become a core contributor, or tracking a core contributor as they become a 
an occasional contributor. Would that be this repeat occasional contributors, like someone who's becoming a, an occasional contributor more than once? Is that what that means? Uh, I think so. The occasional contributor is still limited by uh, like the number of contributions, right? So an occasional contributor, even if they're a repeat contributor, they're not what would we, what would be considered a core contributor based okay. on based on this definition, right? Because we've we've kind of split those two things. So there's the core contributors, the the people that are that are constantly contributing to a project, and then there are the occasional contributors. Uh, the people that sporadically contribute or do the, uh, I know drive by isn't the uh, correct term, but uh, they, they come and they make a contribution when they need to, and then they disappear for a period of time, right? Okay. So, and maybe they don't come back. True. So should we add something then, I guess, to track the, as a, like a, a, a filter, I guess it would be? Uh, Tracking a contributor's life cycle or contribution cycle. I don't know what how, filter. Yeah. Minimum number of contributions before someone is no longer an occasional contributor. Minimum length of time between contributions. Minimum percentage of overall contributors who are classified as a case. So th those filters, so the filters that are there are not uh, they don't have a uh, uh, they don't have a value associated with them saying that uh, uh, like for the, the the number of the minimum number of contributions before someone is no longer an occasional contributor that filter doesn't differentiate between that person whether they stopped contributing or whether they became a core contributor mm -hmm. right so there's no there's no value attributed to those filters uh, as far as directionality goes. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe it's already there. It's just built into the metric. We just, uh, okay. it's just not explicitly stated. Okay. okay. Cool. So I think this metric is good. Right. Does everyone agree? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll just put that in here that we reviewed comments on the computer and um, the only place to clarify the reference but to avoid confusion. Okay. Does anybody want to take that action item to do that? What's that? To, on that reference link that um, Yuhui brought up, uh, this will clean it up. Did we say we wanted to clarify that a little? I think we should. It, it look it does look kind of weird. Yeah. Like having it at the having it at the end like that is not. Yeah. Uh, it's not normal for. Yeah. Uh, does um does somebody want to take that action item to submit that pull request? Like, I can do it if nobody wants to do it. It's fine. Yeah, I can do it. I'll work today evening and on the value working group, like name change thing, that big thing. Okay. And then I'll also fix this one also. What are you changing that name to, by the way? Uh, it was agreed and written over there. Let me look. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm just curious because I did comment on that. Sorry, sorry to bring yeah. up value stuff here. Yeah, no, I it's written somewhere. I have to look at the notes because I it's in my to do list before I travel for tomorrow. It's yep. Uh, it was project recommendability. Now it's contributor recommendability. Oh right, yeah, yeah. And that's the does a contributor recommend a project? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Rather a project recommendability is like you are referring a project, but who is referring? Contributor is referring a project. Yeah, yeah that's better. Yeah. Uh, I think that, that actually might have been what I yep. uh, yeah, what I that's, recommended. Yeah, that's uh, like uh, discuss after your comment and it was agreed in the meeting. So uh,
All right. Do we have anything else to talk about? I'm, oh. I'm good. Yeah. Bernard, where are you traveling tomorrow? Yep. I'm leaving early in the morning to Houston. To go where? Big Houston. Oh, Big 12 Symposium. Okay. Yep. Texas. Yes. Planning to watch the bats. Yep. Be be safe. The last time I went to COVID or went to Texas, I came back with COVID. Oh, oh my goodness. So, oh no. It's not, not I think a, you had some bad weather too. So just kind of keep an eye. Yep. I, I got the news like there were bad weather, but uh, let's see. My I, I looked at the flight, it's still okay showing on time. So hope for the best. Let's see. Awesome. All right. I'm gonna stop sharing. Yep. Thank you for steering. Oh yeah, no worries. Yeah, no problem. Um, all right, everybody have a great weekend. Yep. I'll see you all next week. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.